Here we are on the coast of Florida at Cape Canaveral. This is uh, where a tremendous amount of history has been made, obviously, in, in, in space. It's uh, where Apollo launched from, the moon missions all came from Cape Canaveral. Over there we have the uh, space shuttle and uh, the Lockheed Atlas facility. There's the vehicle assembly building for the shuttle is over there, and then the Boeing uh, Delta IV vehicle. The launch site we're using is formerly, was formerly used by the Titan IV, which was the largest vehicle in the U.S. fleet and we've done a lot of work to change and adjust it for, for our vehicle and, and make, make improvements. Let me introduce you to Brian Mosdal, who's managing the construction of the, the launch site here at Cape Canaveral, uh, and will manage the ongoing uh, launch operation here. I have a lot of experience out here at the Cape uh, launching rockets. I started here my career in the, in the space industry in 1991, and I'm thrilled to be part of the SpaceX team. Okay, so behind me is where the where Falcon 9 would would fit uh, during launch. And the, the big transformation that's going to occur over the next few months is the construction of the launch mount, and uh, we're going to have the hangar uh, constructed. Behind us, we see the giant lightning towers. There's a lot of lightning here at the Cape, and those things can pretty much protect us against Armageddon. Here we are on top of our giant a ball of liquid oxygen. They say SpaceX has big balls, and it's true. It's capable of containing about a million pounds of liquid oxygen, more than enough for a Falcon 9 flight. Over there we have our uh, flame duct. So you can see that, that that big exit there is is the flame duct. The rocket flames and a whole bunch of steam comes out of that hole right there. This, this wall is where they recorded the rockets that have uh, launched here previously. The biggest rocket in the U.S. fleet, the Titan IV, which is a really gigantic vehicle, used this launch site. It's a great heritage to be launching from the former Titan IV launch pad. And then we have our control room, which is 12 miles away, uh, which is actually just outside the gates at Cape Canaveral, which makes it easier for visitors or customers to, uh, to be there and, and look at their, their payload and, and be there in the control room with us without having to go through all the security of coming onto Cape Canaveral, which is actually an Air Force base. We broke, first broke ground on our launch site about a year ago. And we expect to be ready to launch by the middle of next year. All right, so that mostly concludes the tour of our, of our launch pad. We'll do another updated tour in a couple months, and you'll see how much this has transformed. It's going to be quite remarkable.